Now, I believe that's back-to-back weeks where we've gone one of three on the three best prop bets, but it's definitely better than getting reverse swept as we were at the beginning of the year. So luck is slowly turning into our favor, but we got to capitalize on it and hope to hit two of three this weekend. Last weekend, let's quickly talk about that. Anders by decision plus 165 was the only one to come through. Bernardo Sopai by knockout at plus 225 was so close to hitting in that second round until he cardio death gassed and Vinicius Oliveira put together one of the best performances in terms of coming back and then providing a highlight reel knockout to knock out Sopai so we had to ca- uh, throw that away and then Vitor Petrino by knockout plus 165 didn't seem to push the pace a little bit more than I expected him to but is what it is we have to rip up that ticket and then the Godzi of round one sub plus 500 god damn I wish he was able to secure that takedown a little bit earlier because if he had more time on the mat maybe it would have come to fruition at that point but by the time he finally got it to the ground it seemed like he was already winded so we have to rip up the long shot ticket there so again Anders by decision the only problem that ends up hitting for us at UFC Vegas 87. All right, we got three more prop bets here for you guys for UFC 299, followed by a long shot. Just a reminder, there is some regional events going down this weekend as well. Uh, LFA 178, which goes down later this evening, and then ACA 172, which goes down tomorrow morning uh, as an appetizer to UFC 299. So if you are looking for written breakdowns on those fights, every single one of them, I believe there's 11 on LFA and 16 or 14 or 16 on uh, ACA you guys can check them out on the patreon page i'll have them posted there for you as well as plays for those cards as well all right let's get into the three top uh, top three profits that i have here for you guys for ufc 299 the first of which is going to be asu al mabayev by submission at plus 110 clearly some big action coming in on this prop as it was closer to plus 150 earlier in the week when the props originally dropped we all know that al mabayev will have a solid uh, grappling advantage over cj vergara in this fight and i believe he should be able to secure that takedown pretty easily in this matchup it might not come in the first round it might not come in the second round but i think at least by the third round, we'll see Alma Baev establish that top position, maybe even get the back of Vergara, sink in that choke, and cash that ticket for us. The second best prop bet that I have for you guys is going to be Jack Della Maddalena by knockout at plus 160. I really like him in this spot as I think that he'll be able to outstrike Gilbert Burns, stop the takedowns that are coming his way, and then as Burns starts to slow down, especially with the body work that JDM will be putting in here, he should be able to open up knockout opportunities in the second or third round and I believe he will come through with that in flying colors. Give me JDM by knockout. Jack Della Maddalena, that is, by knockout at plus 160. And the third and final best prop bet that I have for you guys here is going to be uh, Benoit Saint-Denis by submission at plus 165. We know how often we see Dustin Poirier give up his back when he's working back to his feet, uh, when he's trying to stave off any type of grapple-heavy approach from his opponents. And you do not want to do that against a guy like Benoit Saint-Denis, who has a knack for snatching up the neck of his opponents. Heck, he even snatches up chins and just crushes on those chins just like a rear naked choke to still get the tap from his opponents Dustin Poirier is not ready for the young and hungry lion that Benoit Saint-Denis is he's used to fighting the Justin Gaethje's and Conor McGregor's of the world but this guy in Saint-Denis is going to put him through the ringer put him up against the cage grab his back snatch a neck up and get that submission and give me BSD Benoit Saint-Denis by sub at plus 165 all right the long shot prop that i have for you guys here is actually against one of my predictions on the night but the line is too nice to pass up considering how live he normally is to achieve this and this one is one of those where i go round three round four round five so a sprinkle on each of those plus 1400 plus 1600 plus 1800 on marlon chito vera Now, we know that this guy comes on hot in the deep waters, and that's normally where he likes to do his best work. This guy has never been knocked out. This guy has never suffered a knockdown in nearly 10 years with the UFC. Sean O'Malley may be able to do that, but he would be the first person to ever do that. Uh, And that is something that I'm willing to bet against, considering the type of chin and durability that we've seen from Marlon Vera in the past. Will O'Malley be able to dictate the pace for 25 minutes? Will he be able to keep Marlon Vera from getting to the you know deep water type of fighting that he likes to get into 
I wanted to find out at that plus 14, 16, and 1800 mark. Hopefully, that we can uh, end up cashing that rather than ch- taking the chalky spot on O'Malley here. So, uh, yeah, the long shot is going to be the round three, four, five sprinkle, 1400, 1600, and 1800 on Marlon Vera. There you guys go. Three best prop bets and a long shot for UFC 299. I am so excited for this weekend, not just because of the UFC, but we got uh, LFA going down tonight. We got ACA tomorrow morning and then UFC to cap off the weekend. It is going to be phenomenal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all the content this week and I'll see you guys after the UFC 299 card wraps up for the immediate reactions podcast slash show, whatever you guys want to call it. And we can talk about the immediate fallout of all the matchups that went down on this pay-per-view card. I will see you guys then. Peace.